The American Train System is a simulation system for training pre-hospital and intra-hospital and collaborative uh, major incidents or surge capacity. Uh, for the Darwin project we looked at a major incident exercise with a cruiser ship that was uh, having a problem. So we have all the, we have the figures with the patients, we have different kind of resources like rescue personnel, ambulance personnel, we have doctors, we have nurses, uh, ambulances, uh, rooms and bed places and so on. So mostly anything you can need in a hospital to take care of the patients. This can be a way of visualizing what's happening and uh, have a view over what kind of resources you have available and uh, have an uh, actual experience of the patients and how, to, how what you need to do to take care of them. So how can you transport them from the accident scene into the hospital? How much resources do you need to transport them? Uh, how many hospitals do you have available and how many beds are there in the, in the different hospitals and what kind of specializations in the hospitals are available to the patients. If there's a, a fire there, you have a lot of burn victims, you need to have burn units at the hospital and they can be shared over different hospitals. So depending on triage, you might need to, to move them to the closest hospital or if they're not that... Uh, uh, if the injury isn't that bad, it can doesn't matter if it takes a bit longer time, so you can go to a hospital further away. And you can do that planning and visualization with the, with the two. You also use the triage system here, so you, so you can put triage uh, uh, stickers on the patients. You can put different uh, treatments on the patients, so you can do treatments at the site or in the hospital. And uh, the system allows for you to assess and evaluate if you have given the right treatment in the right time to the patient to avoid uh, possible deaths and morbidity so that, that the patients don't get injuries that they, doesn't, they don't need to have. You can test the, the ability that the people involved in the exercise have or the organization has and you can put on more workload or different tasks and you can test the procedures they are using to handle the situation. And you can give them new procedures to see how they can handle situations in a different way. And you get an uh, evaluation of how many patients made it through that exercise then. We test it by letting the personnel who were participating in the exercise uh, train with the concept cards, with the resilience concept cards, prior to the exercise so they can use that knowledge when handling a really big and difficult uh, incident. Mm -hmm.